My name is Peter Whitbread Abrutat and uh, I work for an organisation called Water Armstrong International, which is an international mining and environmental consultancy. Uh, before that, I worked at the Eden Project for 12 years, which is a major landscape restoration project, including this restoring this beautiful rainforest in the middle of Cornwall. Um, and I first got into landscape restoration, the first interest was because um, I just thought there was something you could do about environmental destruction. I, we get bombarded by images of um, depressing images of people being uh, displaced and the environment's being burned and destroyed and polluted and all the rest of it. And actually, there's some, a lot of things you can do about that to try and turn it around and restore the environment and improve people's lives. And there's a lot of people out there in the rest of the world doing just that. The Winston Churchill Memorial Trust funded me to go uh, on a two month trip through North and South America looking at various different landscape restoration projects and the Winston Churchill Memorial Trust was set up um, in memory of Winston Churchill who died in 1965 to send about 100 British people every year abroad on a variety of different uh, projects um, to learn new knowledge and bring it back to the benefit of the UK and to their local communities as well as spreading the good word of Britain abroad with the intention of um, promoting international understanding and reducing the risk of conflict. I've been interested in general landscape restora restoration issues for a long time. Um, and I've, I've found out a lot of projects in Europe and North America, but very few was I aware of in, in Latin America and some people told me um, that actually there was nothing going on in Latin America which I thought was like a red rag to a bull. I thought right I'm going to make sure I find out some interesting projects that are happening in Latin America. Uh, and the interesting thing in countries uh, like those in Latin America is there's a much greater social imperative to environmental and landscape restoration than there is in North America and Europe to a large extent because a lot of these countries are still uh, middle-ranking economies uh, and even in Brazil there's an awful lot of people on the poverty line so when you restore landscapes you've got to consider the socio-economic issues for those people as well. I see forest restoration as more of an ecological approach uh, so you're trying to start, restore some of the um, original biodiversity, trying to restore some of the ecosystem functions. Reforestation in my head, and it's a semantic divide to a large extent, reforestation uh, is more generally just the replanting of trees on the denuded landscape, so that may or may not include ecologically appropriate species or plantations. One of the things that I vi when I visited all these different landscape restoration projects, one of the things that I asked everybody that I came across was, um, what made you start this? You know, what were the critical factors that made you start? And virtually everybody from all the different backgrounds and all the different projects all over the place was saying, we saw this destroyed environment. We just want to do something about it, and we know enough to start doing something. We don't need to know all the answers, but any improvement is better than none. 